I got like five and a half miles of uphill. My pack is very heavy. We added an extra liter of water because the stretch is very dry. Why is it always right when you have to pee, someone finally comes around the corner? She saw everything. Mm, so we are actually gonna go to the right here because there's a campground, but what we really need is this water. There's a water pump at this Marlette Park campground. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She's so ten. weird. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Wait. Oh, wait, this is hard. Wait. Oh, wait. What? Wait. <laughs> it's not gonna. It's like a little fast. Wait. It's splintering out the bottom. This is. Wait. Are you supposed to get it from the bottom? What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're never gonna get water. I have to get two. Okay. Okay. It looks like a little boy's urinal. Yeah. All right. That was hard. Okay, um. Are you supposed to put it down there? Uh. I don't know. I don't know the answer. I think it's just there. That was hard work, everybody. Okay, so we figured it out. There's a valve right here. So when you start pumping, you have to lift this up and it comes out here. That makes way more sense. So here we go. Ready, set. Oh, wait, I can't do it. Oh wait, I have to put that down. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. <laughs> okay, this is a two person job. Okay, I need your help. <laughs> so, Diana's peeing so we can hear her, but we figured out the pump. Um, with two people, it took like literally like three seconds each bottle. So, oh gosh, it was so tiring. But we each have three liters of water and that should last until like tomorrow late afternoon. Um, just really hot and exposed and dry. And so three liters should be enough after she's done peeing. We're gonna just keep walking and we'll reconnect with the trail even though there's like signs that were on the Tahoe Rim Trail. So I actually don't know which split is the Tahoe Rim Trail, but it doesn't matter because I think people just take both. And I think most people take this because of the water pump. We don't need to filter the water. It's so cold and it tastes pretty good. So thank you to whoever services that pump. Uh, I appreciate it and I know every other hiker who uses it appreciates it. So thank you. I love Nevada, absolutely love it. All right, we made it back to the main trail. Diana has to take her, her flannel place. off. And then we continue this way. Woo! Oh, tired. The clouds really came in, starting to rain over there. Uh-oh. We might be in for another thunderstorm and rain. These clouds just came in and I could see back on the trail, it's raining. So I'm sure it'll catch up to us, but there's nothing we can do. Whew.
there is this sand harbor overlook loop this way and we're going to do it. It's going to add 1.2 miles, but it looks like it's the closest point to Lake Tahoe that we're going to get. And so we want to get a nice look at Sand Harbor because Sand Harbor is beautiful. But I recommended we drop our packs and just run up there. So we're hiding them behind this tree. Wow, look at that Sand Harbor. This is stunning. Oh. Look at this! Oh my gosh. Tahoe City, we're coming for you! Wherever you are, it's over there somewhere. We're coming Tahoe City! Woo! Give us like five days. <laughs> you can see how clear the water is down there though. All right, time to head out. The thunder has started, but we kind of dropped down a bit into the trees, so hopefully that's good. When thunder roars and the lightning strikes. <laughs> Hopefully it's not on my head. It's starting to rain, so my pack cover's on. Diana's getting hers on. The camera has to go away. Thankfully, we're going down. Um, the thunder's like right above us, so we're just gonna keep going lower and lower in elevation, which is good. But hopefully, the rain isn't heavy and it passes quickly. So, all right, see you in a bit. <laughs> Look at these massive mushrooms. Whoa. I have some sort of rash on my foot. They don't feel great, and I know they're very dirty, but they're gonna stay this way until I'm done. <laughs> yeah, they're dirty, everyone, I know, I know. You have a rash? But I have this, like, rash thing. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, it's a little bit on this side. Oh yeah, see it. So I'm going to massage my feet, roll my feet out with my cork ball, elevate, and hope for the best.
Okay, so we hiked in the rain for, it was almost like two miles. It wasn't pouring, but I definitely got wet. Good thing we had our pack covers on. But then the rain kind of stopped as we were going down in elevation. And then it got really windy and we got really cold. So we tried to book it to our, um, where we wanted to sleep for the night. So our tents are set up, we've eaten dinner, and we have a somewhat view of the lake. So we're actually doing a little adventure to go see if we can catch sunset. Yeah, no one else is around, so it's really quiet. And just hoping it doesn't storm in the middle of the night. But other than that, um, we did about 15 miles today with our side trail, and we feel pretty good. That's it, just gonna go look at the sunset and then go to bed. So, yeah, that's completion of day 10, right? We're already on day 10. Day 10, we're, we're in double digits. Day 10, day 11 tomorrow, wild, wild. Yeah, hopefully it'll be a great night's sleep. I forgot to tell you that last night, I kept hearing the weirdest sounds for about an hour. I swear there was a bear trying to like slap open my bear canister. That's what it sounded like. Our bear bags and bear canisters were fine. So I don't know what that weird slapping noise was for like an hour. It kept me up since like 4 a.m. But hopefully tonight it's peace and quiet. Maybe a little wind, I don't mind a little wind. It makes me like not be able to hear all the little critters. So anyway, that's it. P.S. My new phrase is pray for constipation because I almost just pooped my pants.